hey, what's up? Today, I wanted to bring up some stuff that I wanted to do. I am recording solo currently. Unfortunately, it's not the way that we wanted to go when it came to some of the recordings. Some of the guys are busy. So it's a little bit more difficult for me to be able to get on and record with them. Um, so hopefully, we will be getting into more gaming news. And I hope to make this a weekly thing. Unless there's nothing crazy to talk about. Unless something comes out. I am recording this on a Wednesday. So if anything new pops up, I am sorry. It is being uploaded on Friday. So you guys are seeing this on Friday. So let's get right into the intro. Once I hit you with that bad space, you ain't coming back. Love the trauma, the bitch, you give me space. Hit you with that bad space, you ain't coming back. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about yesterday, we had Breath of the Wild 2, as we are calling it, or the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Aonuma talked about a delay. I'm very sad to see that we're going to have a delay, but I think it's great that we have a jam-packed year with other games coming out. I'm going to use some of these for examples. So Splatoon 3 is one of them that's coming around the summertime. Switch Sports comes out in April. So you guys are probably seeing this in April anyways. So that comes out this month. Mario Strikers comes out in June. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Those come out towards the end of the year. We don't know an official date yet, but we do know it's coming around the end of the year. Most of the Pokemon games come out around November, October area anyways. So that's my guess. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is also coming out in September. So we still have a good jam-packed year with games. We just had Kirby release that got really crazy reviews. And I don't want to sleep on that game. So I will be picking it up soon and hopefully maybe showcasing it on the channel. Or check us out on Twitch. I'll play it on Twitch in the description below on EtherX Social. More Nintendo stuff because I'm very big on Nintendo. I'm not going to be covering a lot of stuff, but when it comes to news, it's going to be a lot of stuff that I pay attention to the most. So Nintendo Switch Online, they're getting a maintenance. I think it was technically tonight, tomorrow, but for you guys, it has already passed. It is a possibility we are getting some new games on there, hopefully, and this will be for the Super Nintendo and the NES. So hopefully some new games to play on there. I feel like... A direct might happen sometime soon it's been a month going on two months so maybe they'll announce a direct after these next coming weeks or even a week that way we can get some news on some new games just because they put out the delay if they didn't bring out the delay then then a lot of people are going to try to watch the direct and be like where's this where's this where's breath of the wild 2 so with the delay happening, maybe we'll get a direct soon on some games, even if it's a Nindy direct. I'm excited for any new news from Nintendo, and hopefully I'll get some fresh, super fresh content on that and talk about like my thoughts on it, because I usually try to watch these directs on the day that it comes out. Um, we can always stream it on the channel, we can always hang out and watch it together, You know, get some reactions together, see how everyone feels about it, but... On top of the Switch Online stuff, Mario Kart with the expansion that came out recently for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I enjoy the drift feed to an extent, but it's kind of lackluster because we're going to have such a big period from now until the end of 2023 for maps to be released. So it, it sounds like it's going to be kind of like how Smash Bros with their releases every few months, every maybe three months, they'll they'll drop the tracks. But don't quote me on that. It's a possibility. I'm just speculating. But seeing this stuff added to the expansion class makes me feel a little bit better on the purchase because I do pay for the family plan. I have three switches here, one for me, my partner, and our son. So we have three different accounts at any given time playing whatever. So it, it, it gives me more hope that they're going to expand on the expansion pass because... As of right now, not worth it unless you are playing the Animal Crossing expansion as well as utilizing the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stuff. 
But other than that, unless you have a need for that, I don't recommend upgrading. So, Steam Deck news. I have finally found out my window of when I will possibly be getting my update. Or, not my update. <laughs> um, be getting news on when I can actually get my pre-order through so i pre-ordered it back in july within the first week or so of the announcement of steam deck just because it was five dollars just to start off the pre-order it, it i just couldn't help myself from not pre-ordering it because you know let's say i don't want it down the line sure i can get rid of the five dollar pre-order but if i didn't jump on it earlier i might be sitting at getting it next year so as of right now, my window is from July to September in Q3. So good news for that. I do want to start doing content on that. I will be using it at home, trying to use it as a daily driver for a little bit, as well as taking it out on the go. I know the battery life isn't amazing, but it's going to be a break for my Switch. I play my Switch a lot more now, especially, but my Switch was my secondary console or i guess my only console that i actually utilized my xbox one didn't get used my ps4 barely got used the only thing i use the ps4 for is the psvr for my son and the xbox one doesn't really get used anymore besides my son playing fortnite on it talking about fortnite i really enjoy the new no build kind of update not really update but the new game mode that's gonna happen just because I'm not a builder. I like shooting and gunplay has always been really big in my book when it comes to my skill set of games. I play everything though. So hopefully, you know, if you guys were iffy about Fortnite and just didn't like the building, I would definitely recommend trying out the no build mode and seeing how you enjoy that, especially because all it takes is aim and then from there reaction time. But other than that, I really wanted to do something new when it came to content. And hopefully I'll bring the guys on to see their thoughts on some of the news that's happening. Get their reactions with things that are happening. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. But I'll see you guys later. Deuces.